Sometimes I feel like I'm waltzing through life at three-quarter time. Every year seems to speed up and go by more quickly. I try not to step on anybody's toes. I try to do the best for my family and for myself. But somehow, do I think too much about aging? I'm wondering, or maybe I don't think about it enough. I don't know. Hello, this is Sandra Hart again at Life Over 60. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's so glad to have you with me on this anti-aging journey that we all are traveling. If you're over 50, over 60, you know exactly what I mean. Today I'm going to share with you the 10 things that I do that help me look and feel young and to avoid surgery. That's just not in my bag of tricks, at least for now. I don't think, I really think that I want to just continue aging as gracefully as I can. Now these things that I do are maybe some things that you already know and that you're already practicing, but we take so much time and energy focusing on our face. We try all the creams that are around, all the things like rolladerming and jade rollers, which I do also, I have those. But we are so focused sometimes on our face because that's the first thing someone sees, isn't it? When we meet someone, they see our face, and that's our the first impression that they get, our eyes, our lips, our skin. That's exactly what's out there. But there are other things that we can do to really help us feel better, to try to stay young, and to try to keep well and to look good at the same time. And these are simple, simple things that we all can do. The first thing that I think is so important because my husband is 91 and he had a job where he walked and walked and walked. He lived in New York. We've always had pets. And so therefore, no matter what other exercise we do, we are out all day long, at least four times a day walking. So if you don't want to go to the gym, if you would just rather do an at-home exercise, walking is probably one of the best things that you can do to stay limber, to keep your joints moving, and just to keep moving because your endorphins start rolling and you feel younger and you feel better. Sometimes I really, you know, I'm kind of lazy. I don't want to go out and walk the dog, but Sophie depends upon me, so I get out. And you know, when I come home, I feel so much better to have been outside and to have been walking. That's really a great thing. So that's number one, walking. The next thing that you can do, and this is extremely important, is to keep yourself hydrated. Drink lots and lots of water because that water flushes the body of its toxins and bacteria and prevents, uh, you know, it keeps your skin nice and moist. So it does a lot of things. It keeps all of your organs lubricated and working. So hydration is so extremely important. And do you know what I do? I buy the little containers of flavoring. They're natural juice flavoring. And you can get them at CVS or probably at your local grocery store. Because I do drink a lot of water and sometimes it gets kind of boring. And I don't drink out of plastic bottles. I just drink from our filtered water at home. Now another thing that's very important is sleep. Now I know I probably have mentioned this before, but my husband has insomnia. He's tried sleeping pills. He's tried melatonin. He's tried all kinds of things, and he just can't sleep at all. So I tell him to get up, or read something, and then till he's tired and come back to bed, and that does seem to work for him. But sleep is extremely important for all of us. The fourth thing 
I want to talk about is intimacy. Now, that's not only with your husband, but it's with your family, your children, your loved ones. Just giving someone a hug and receiving a hug back, giving someone a smile, giving, holding someone's hand, cuddling with your husband, whatever relationship you have with him and whatever age group you're in and whatever you two have decided is important to you both. Intimacy really is, they have found through studies, a wonderful ingredient that helps all of us stay young. If you don't have a partner, if you don't have a husband, you have good friends. Uh, I hope you have family, but embrace them, hug them, give them the warmth and have received the warmth that they can give you back. Human interaction and companionship is extremely important to our wellness and our being able to age properly. They say that intimacy does increase your HGH hormones, which helps increase elastin and helps you look a lot younger. So intimacy with your family, with your husband, with your partner is extremely important in trying to stay young. Another thing I do, and you probably do also, but I am very careful to moisturize at least two times a day. Not only my face, but my body. Because as we get older, our skin, skin becomes drier. We don't uh, exfoliate naturally as um, as well as we did when we were younger. So I take a loofah when I'm in the shower. I take a loofah or sometimes just a nubby terry washcloth and I exfoliate my entire body. That helps when I put cream on. It helps the cream to just absorb into my body a little bit better. And of course your face, we all probably if you're watching this channel or you're watching you know my video we all are very concerned about beauty and we know that we have to exfoliate our face either by using exfoliation creams uh, by using hyaluronic acid uh, vitamin C all of those things help the skin cell reproduction and roll over a lot more quickly so of course we know about our face we have to do those things for our face and what I do, what I, what I think helps me, I also do facial exercises. I do them every morning. Sometimes if I have enough energy, I will do them at night before I go to bed. But usually I do them in the morning. And I will put a link below to my video on facial exercises. That really helps because your face, underneath the face and your skin, you're all muscle. You've got muscles here. You have muscles everywhere. And being able to tighten those muscles, it's just like lifting weights for your biceps. If you tighten and relax, tighten and relax your muscles, your neck, see the difference? If you can do that and you keep those muscles working and not sagging and limp, that those muscles underneath your skin will help hold your skin more taut. So all that you're doing on the outside to take care of your skin, your muscles underneath will be helping that platform. It's like the foundation to your house. If you build a strong foundation, your house will stay longer and look better and not sag. So, so just think of the muscles in your face as the foundation. And do the exercise while you're watching television. Why not? While you're watching videos on YouTube, you can still listen and work those muscles at the same time. So that's what I do. Sometimes even if I'm riding in the car and, and Arthur's driving and I, you know, I'm just thinking, I, I tighten my muscles. I just automatically tighten it and I can feel them like across my cheeks. By doing this, I can actually feel them. And the more you do it, then the stronger the muscles are underneath and the more effective they will be. The eighth one is eat more antioxidant food. 
because they work from the inside out, from the top of your body all the way down to your feet. Antioxidants like berry, broccoli, tomatoes, all of their foods help you have better skin, help you have better hair, give you lots of energy, and are really nourishment for your body. I know probably a lot of you are already doing all of these things, but I think it's really important that we think about it and we realize that it's our inside body and what we put inside our body and how we take care of our covering, our shell on the outside, all of those things really make a difference into how we feel. And of course, I can't emphasize enough, sunblock. Please, whether it's zinc oxide, if you want to go the natural way, put sunblock from head to toe whenever you go out. But also, I would say, and this has been my problem because I do lather myself from top to bottom with sunscreen, I am low in vitamin D, so I try every morning when I have to take a shower to go out on my balcony and to sit, you know, in, in my lounging outfit or whatever I have and try to sit at least 15 minutes in the sun without any sunscreen. I try to have my back to the sun so that my face is, is not, you know, directly into the sun or else I'll put a hat on. But I expose the, my shoulders and my arms and the rest of my body if I can to the sun so that I will absorb a natural vitamin D. I am taking supplements though because that really, I think a lot of older women, that really is our downfall. We don't get enough vitamin D and you need vitamin D to have other, to help other vitamins absorb into your body. It's extremely, extremely important. And shame on me because I live in a tropical area where the sun shines most of the time. And number 10, it's last but not least, and I have talked about this maybe a hundred times, practice happiness. Practice having a positive state of mind because you are what you think. If you're thinking happy, if you try to eliminate all the negativity from your life, it's healthier because you are what you think. And negative people, negative thoughts put stress on your body. And stress is really, it's a killer. It really is bad for you. If you can try to eliminate stress or if you have stress, and there's nothing you can do about your environment. You have to do all of these other things. Get out and walk. Get away from your situation. If you can, for a few hours a day, find a quiet place in your house. If you go into the bathroom and lock the door and meditate and try to de-stress. Listen to good music. Listen to a positive book on tape. Meditate, whatever it is. But stress will make you old. Happy thoughts and positive thoughts will keep you young. All of these things I know maybe you already knew and you try to do, but I just wanted to share with you the 10 things that I do every day or like exfoliating at least once a week my whole body. Those are things that I do to try to stay young and to stay away from any type of thoughts of surgery. That's just for me. If you feel like a tummy tuck, a breast lift, breast enhancement facelift, if those things are your dream and it's right for you, then go for it. But I'm just speaking to those of you who feel that you want to age naturally and you want to try to stay feeling as young as possible and try to look as young as possible. This video is for you. Thank you so much for coming along with me today. I really appreciate each and every one of you who have subscribed and who are joining me on this adventure that we are all on. And I appreciate your comments and questions. And I really I really um, care about everyone.
no matter what our circumstances are, we all are united in the fact that we can't stop aging, but we want to make life as wonderful as possible, whatever age we are right now. Enjoy your day. Do something wonderful for yourself. Share a bit of kindness today for, with someone. And do get that hug going. Give some of your love away today. I'll see you in my next video.